Boy, is it getting wild over here. Woo. We are getting wild. Uh, yeah, throw that out there. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Uh, let me ask you a question. Yeah, please. Let me ask you a question and the people in the audience. Okay. Do you want to be the breadwinner in your relationship, or are you okay with your significant other making that bread? That's the question <laughs> of the day. That's the question of the day. Um, oh, God. Okay. Well, do I ever have to work again is pretty much your question. Oh, well, I don't know. I mean. I, I, is it an ego thing that I need to be the, the breadwinner? Look, mm. if I got a lovely lady to take care of me while I bring in the creative juices to our house, You'd be open to that. I wouldn't mind. But I don't want to feel useless. Okay. So maybe... <laughs> I don't know. That's right. an interesting question. Yeah, it is. And let's break down some of the details of the story because we're going to get into it. Can this we shit get gets your take wild. on this at some point? Oh, at the end. Okay. At All the right. end. Can't well, let's wait. get into this story right here because I want to get people's thumbs up if you want to be the breadwinner. So if you want to be the person making the money in your household, give a thumb up. If you're the person that's like, look, I don't care just as long as we got money in the house. I don't care if my wife or my husband, for that matter, makes more than me, give a thumb down. If you want to be the number one breadwinner, Thumb it up. If you're okay with being number two in your household, thumb down. Can we do that? Let's do it. Okay. I'll keep track. All right. So, okay, this is our wild money move of the week. Do you want to be the breadwinner in your relationship, or are you okay with someone else making that bread? So, here's the story. Well, apparently, the wild money move is this. Uh, if you marry a woman who makes more than you, watch out. Because women <laughs> who make more than their husbands... It doesn't end up pretty. Here's the story here. According to a University of Chicago study, that when women out-earn their husbands, the marriages tend to struggle. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. Stat, marriages with female breadwinners are 50% more likely to end in divorce. Now, here's a little a funny, crazy stat for you. Not so funny. Fun fact, if you will. 50% of all marriages already end up in divorce anyway. Yeah. So now you're going to add on top of that another 50% <laughs> that if your wife makes more than you, um, that you're going to end up in divorce. So basically, if your wife makes more than you, pack your shit, buddy. It's not going to work out. <laughs> or get a job, bro. Get a job, bro. A real man. Anyway, this is what's happening right now. This study came out there from the University of Chicago. 50% uh, chance if your wife makes more than you, you will end up most likely to be divorced. Yeah. Okay? What, what, do we got thumbs up, thumbs down? Yeah, what do we dude, got we, going we on have a, We have some thumbs. We have a lot of thumbs up. We got. So people want to make that money. Yeah. They don't want to be re young reliant. John with the two thumbs up. Yeah. Noah, thumbs up. Parker. Uh, Godwin, thumbs up. Uh, got Sake, Sake uh, thumbs down. Okay. And she looks like a lovely woman. Okay. Uh, Jorge Sar, thumbs up. Both of us get that dough. Thumbs down from Jonathan. A lot of thumbs up from John. John Young John says, if that lady wants to get rid of me and I ain't making no money, then I'm screwed. So <laughs> <laughs> You're screwed, bro. Anyway, the, story, the study continues, David. Oh, boy. So the study by the American Sociological Review shows that when a wife out-earns her husband, he's more likely to cheat. When the on her. wife out-earns earns the, the husband, husband, he's, he's more likely, more likely Why? to cheat. Let me break it down for you. So a study shows that 5% of men whose wives out-earn them are likely to cheat. 5%, so wives who out-earn them, 5% are likely to cheat. But here's Suck. where it gets tricky. 15% <laughs> of men who were 100% financially dependent on their wives oh, had affairs. So let me break that down for Dude, you. Dude, what an asshole. So if your, wife, if your wife makes more than you, right, Yeah. you're 5% you're more likely to cheat, right? But if your wife, oh my god, if you stat. full on depend on your wife, like you're the stay at home dad, yeah, stay good for dad. Okay, your wife's grinding, she's working, Ugh. she's CEOing it up. You're home Jeez. taking care of the kids, cooking. Yeah, you're three times more likely to cheat, dude. And not even CEOing it up, like she's yeah. working two jobs and you're at home doing nothing, <laughs> and you still cheat on her. Damn, what a loser, dude. You're a, yeah, <laughs> you're an asshole. Now you do, you end up cheating, you get caught, you're broke. Now you're homeless. Now you got to go work. <laughs> It's not a good look to cheat on your successful wife. Don't recommend. I don't recommend cheating on your wife in general. Hello. Yeah, not a good idea. But especially when you don't got no job. Especially homie. if she's taking care of you, dude. Yeah, it's well. Here's the reason. Doing. Here's buddy. the you, you, you're, you, people out there must be like, well, why is this? Yeah. Like break this. Like give me something. Yeah, who are don't these? just end there. Yeah. Here's we go. The biggest reasons for the tension in the relationship, aside from the large gaps in income, obviously. Right. All revolve around the deep-seated ideas about gender roles and societal expectations about men. 
Okay? Yeah. So basically, men should be working. Exactly. Men should be bringing home the bacon. Women want women, a provider. They don't women want, want a provider. Yeah, to provide. Women, you know, stay in the kitchen. You know, men work. You know, that whole old school mentality, which I think these days is kind of effing BS. Yeah. I think more women are entering the workforce. They want to work, right? I think more women are becoming CEOs. I think, yeah. Uh-huh. I think, look, you know, past not, that they want to work. They've been working. They've been working. Women just want to be taken just the same. They want to be paid the same amount, equal, equal pay for equal work. Yeah. And meanwhile, homie over here is cheating on you while you're hurting, while, while you're working. Dude, we just did, Pat just did an interview with Dr. Warren Farrell. He wrote The Boy Cry- Crisis. And yeah. in this, he, he talks about that. He talks about women that they want a provider. They As soon as, like, the man becomes kind of acting like a like a woman like a like bitch subconscious like a bitch uh when they see that they married a big bitch they they're out they're just like this isn't cool so of course so not only this article shouldn't be taken as like a woman wants to be in the kitchen while man provides it's like i want to yeah be ceo but i don't want to take care of some dude yeah like the dude should be ceo with me at some other company like a power couple yeah of course. oh i like that power couple well speaking Wait. of power couples oh, you, do you have another point well no well yeah of course yeah. dude if it's if you're if you're not in that power couple if your wife is taking care of you and you're cheating on her <laughs> what the hell are you doing what bro? the hell are you doing bro what the fuck's wrong with you yeah because what do you it, want? It, because they are emasculated that's what it comes down to these societal a, yeah, expectations it's a, it's of a men. low self-esteem but dude, i'm the guy oh, stay bro. at home my wife works it's just not normal Oh so you know, God, when things buddy, aren't normal, you, you have doing? an adverse reaction to that. So, look, I don't know if this is BS, if this is crazy stuff, or this is actually legit. Um, would love to know in the comments. But here's here's the silver lining to all this, right? Because you don't need to fall victim to the odds here. You could actually do something about this, yeah. okay? So we all know that money is a taboo subject. You know, people don't typically talk about it, um, especially after you hear a story like this. You're like, oh, my God, I don't know. The most important things that you can be on the same page in your relationship are yeah. money. Clearly, people yeah. fight about money and communication. Communication is key. If you talk to any old couple out there, right, and you say, how do you make the marriage work? What is it? What is it? We communicate. We yeah. talk it out. Yeah. You don't, you don't just keep things under wraps and, you know, bury it down deep below. You talk it out. Yeah. It, it, it's for sure a recipe for success communicating yeah, it's one of the hardest things that uh, to do sometimes to communicate and uh, yes. like be flu- like uh, completely transparent about things but it's the key it's but the key that reminds me of a dane cook joke Ooh. from vicious circle a dane cook reference ladies and gentlemen go ahead <laughs> where he's like this beautiful old couple married for 70 years and i, I approached the the gentleman i'm like hey you know i want this what's the secret to being in a, in a marriage like this and the old man looks at me he gets. He pulls me in closer, and he goes, "Cheat." <laughs> <laughs> what? Cheat. You have to cheat. That's his advice. <laughs> yeah. Well, clearly he's on the fifteen percent side of yeah, things. Yeah, that, definitely. Uh, women control the narrative. <laughs> um, well, I think. Look, teamwork makes a dream work. Communicate, right? Yeah. Discuss where you. What the good, the bad, the ugly. Your shared vision. Your shared dreams. How do the relationship can improve? What are the problems are? Look, honey, baby, look, things aren't working out over here. I really need your help with this. I don't like when you do this. I love when you do this. Communicate, okay? Especially if you're in a marriage. Because um, the the whole goal of the marriage is the whole live ha- happily ever after thing, right? Right. But uh, if you seriously have a problem with your wife making more money than you, you should probably bring it up. She might be like, all right, well, you know, how about I stay home and you go work home? Well, yeah, no, that's not even like bring it up. It's just like, get your shit together, bro. Maybe yeah. like, I don't know, well, make I, more money. Like, I don't want to make it seem like the guy's a complete loser because maybe the woman just has a, has a great career. She's, she's done a great job. That's a good point. The guy has maybe a flexible schedule. He can stay at home more. It's not like winner and loser. Yeah. Right? It's not so much that. So you have Because to- even think about it when the man is the breadwinner. The woman's not a loser because she's, she's taking true. care of the kids. That you're it's so societal right. norms and stereotypes. But for the man to be staying at home, taking care of the kids, doing the carpool, yeah, it's it's not normal. It's abnormal. It's yeah. not traditional. And that's even more reason to talk it out. 
Yeah, exactly. And if you are at that point of like, it's not that I'm a total loser. She's just, yeah. a, you know, she's a brilliant she's woman. She's a freaking means, G. She's a yeah, lawyer. She's, she's a, a doctor. G. She's whatever. So you have to be able to provide the same amount of value into the relationship by doing other things, dude. Like, look out for her. Do things that she can't do because she's making that Ooh. money. You know, hear her out. Make her dinner. Do things like yeah. where you also balance scales. The bottom line is, if you have a successful wife... Yeah. Appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, you have a badass person. T- t- tables year. turned. If you have a successful husband, appreciate that. One thing that I like about uh, Pat's other company, PHP, are the couples that work together. Yeah. Power couples. And you couples. see these power couples dominate. The Sapalas, right? Um, Ricky and Erica. Yeah. Gaetan, right? With the list goes on. Sapalas. Right. Um, what's my guy? Um, Hector Hector and Erica, but they're, um, you know, brother and sister. Yeah. Or... Um, Rodolfo and Ceci, like these people. Tigran Moral. Tigran, of course, my guy. But power couples, yeah. and uh, it, it's extremely effective. So supporting your running mate. Talk is money. All we talk is money. If you enjoyed that short clip from the Sawscast, click here to watch another. Click here to watch the full episode, or just stay broke. <laughs>